You're watching PLZ Soccer, this is your English Football Bulletin. Chelsea manager Frank Lampard has branded VAR as soul-destroying after he felt the technology got several decisions wrong in last night's 2-0 home defeat to Manchester United. The Blues had two goals ruled out by VAR and after review it was decided not to send off Harry Maguire for a kick-out at Mishibatshuayi. Lampard was not satisfied. Very confusing to say the least when uh, all the different angles still bring a wrong decision, which is universally a wrong decision, you know, it could be my opinion here, but I think everyone I've spoken to, not just in our dressing room, but neutrals have said the same. For United, it continues an impressive record against the big six this season, and it puts them within three points of Chelsea in the top four places. One cloud over yesterday, though, was once again Paul Pogba, after his agent Mino Raiola claimed that Paul Pogba is not Manchester United boss Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's property in an extended rant on Twitter. Moving on, the Champions League returns this evening with defending champions Liverpool visiting Atletico Madrid and the stadium in which they lifted the trophy just eight months ago. The Reds remain joint favourites for the competition, but boss Jurgen Klopp has claimed that a trip to Atleti is one of the most difficult fixtures in the life of a football player and he played down his side's chances. We don't feel like the winner of last year's Champions League tournament. We feel like one of the contenders for this year's. And we want to show that. We want to be there in Istanbul, if possible. And Everton will host Chelsea in the Women's FA Cup quarter-final after both came through last night's fifth-round matches. Spurs' 5-0 win over Coventry sets up a potential derby with Arsenal, who's still to play lose after their game was postponed. Holders' Man City travel to Leicester or Reading, while Crystal Palace or Brighton will host Birmingham. The quarter-final ties will be played on Sunday the 15th of March. Thanks for watching List Lunchtime. Remember to see other bulletins. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And you can download our app for all the latest.